coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Textron Aviation Denali to be delayed. Honda unveils Honda Jet Elite 2 at NBAA base. Exciting pairing, Ampere and Tamarack team up on Eco Caravan. This week's coverage of NBAA base is powered by GoGo 5G, allowing business aviation to communicate faster than ever. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Textron's Denali to be delayed. One of the most avidly awaited aircraft is the forthcoming Denali from Textron, readying to take on a market well-served and equally well-dominated by the likes of Dyer, Pilatus, and Piper. But with a new generation of turboprop power plant and plenty to do with other development programs, it appears that those waiting for the Denali might have to wait a bit longer. The disappointing admission came out at a press conference covering all things Textron right at the start of the 2022 NBAA base in Orlando, Florida. At the beginning of COVID, we were working on both the Sky Carrier and the Denali at the same time, and that was a heavy lift and a stretch. We purposely rescheduled the Denali behind the Sky Courier. We had a, a customer in FedEx who needed 100 uh, Sky Couriers, so due to resource constraints, we, we slid the Denali schedule behind that. And now we're just syncing up all those schedules on the CERT plans of both the engine and the airplane. The airplane's flying great. Mm -hmm. It is exceeding expectations, and we had uh, pretty, uh, pretty high goals on the, on the specifications for the airplane. So there's really not an issue. It is a lot of work to certify an engine yeah. and an airplane at the same time. We okay. are uh, bold enough to go out and do that. But we're very excited now that uh, our full engineering team is on this effort. We've got the three airplanes flying, and so now it's just you got to get through all the final development flights and next year get into the heavy cert flying and, and it looks like we're, we're lining up to be a second half of 24. After the break, Apollo astronaut James McDivitt goes west at age 93. I'm Brad Kislowski and some people know me as the NASCAR driver where I've competed for 13 years at the Cup Series level. There is no typical day in my world. Not knowing what my day is going to be, I have to have as much flexibility as possible. I've been a GoGo -Go customer for over five years, and so I've seen the technology just continue to improve. It's an enabler that uh, helps me make the most of a crazy world that I'm in. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the GoGo -Go system I have on my airplane. The future of USB charging power has arrived. Introducing new, ultra-fast charging TA360 USB chargers. Unlock the power of USB power delivery PD technology. Max power. Multiple configurations. In-seat cabin, cockpit and galley USB power and a direct upgrade for all True Blue Power USB chargers, compatible with any USB electronic device. Easy to install, backed by the best. True Blue Power, the USB experts. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Apollo astronaut James McDivitt goes west at age 93. Former NASA astronaut James A. McDivitt, who commanded the Gemini 4 mission and flew around the Earth as the commander of Apollo 9, died October 13th. McDivitt passed away peacefully in his sleep, surrounded by his family and friends in Tucson, Arizona. He was 93 years old. He first flew in space as commander of the Gemini 4 mission in June 1965 and later flew once more as the commander of Apollo 9. APS Upset Training CEO named Chairman of NBAA Safety Committee 
The chief executive officer of Upset Prevention and Recovery Training Provider Aviation Performance Solutions, Paul B.J. Ransbury, was named chairman of NBAA Safety Committee this week. The NBAA Safety Committee serves the membership with strategic guidance and advice on matters relating to the safe operation of aircraft. The committee provides insight to the membership and board of directors by periodically identifying significant industry risks and serves as a center of expertise on a wide range of relevant business aviation safety matters. EAA opines on recent EPA decision to target Avgas. EAA notes that, quote, on Friday, October 7th, the EPA released its long-awaited proposed finding of endangerment regarding lead emissions from piston aircraft. This was not unexpected and is the first step in a multi-year, multi-step regulatory process that will most likely conclude with the eventual removal of lead from Avgas, end quote. EAA says that its primary mission through all of this is to ensure a smart and safe transition to an unleaded fuel that preserves the utility of the existing general aviation fleet and maintains a stable and cost-effective supply of fuel now and into the future. NASA's X-59 team provides update to flight testing schedule. The NASA Quest program received an update on their program, showing off some of the recent developments in their X-59 as they ready themselves for a test flight in 2023. The aircraft is the spiritual descendant of the original Bell X-1 that first broke the sound barrier 75 years prior, continuing its work as the team continues NASA's mission to push the envelope of supersonic capability. Breaking the sound barrier is a loud, intrusive event for those at ground level, but the X-59 is designed to slip past it in relative calm. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Honda unveils Honda Jet Elite 2 at NBAA base. Honda Aircraft Company has taken the wraps off the Honda Jet Elite 2, a newly upgraded aircraft. With an expanded range of 1,547 nautical miles, the Elite 2 sports the addition of ground spoilers to complete the performance upgrades, optimizing takeoff and landing field performance. The Honda Jet Elite 2 expands the possibility and the very concept of what's being called a very light jet. With the new range of 1,547 nautical miles, 110 nautical miles increased over the previous models. The Elite 2 enables you to reach more destination. It also unlocks more capability on the most popular business jet routes such as New York to the South Florida, while maintaining its position as the most fuel efficient aircraft in S-Class. This is largely accomplished through expanded fuel capacity and 200 pound increase in gross weight. Additionally, it will optimize takeoff and landing performance and increasing handling capability with the new ground spoilers. In short, through our constant pursuit of innovation, the Honda Jet Elite 2 is the fastest, highest, and furthest flying aircraft in its class, achieving a whole new level of performance that redefines what it means to be a very light jet. As we continue to elevate the business aviation to a new level of luxury with higher standards from design and comfort, our goal is to optimize every aspect of the product and produce a truly uncompromised product for our customers and the market. The design of Elite 2 includes a thorough refinement on nearly every surface in the cabin and offers customers two modern interior design options, the Onyx, and the steel. Further, our focus on holistic comfort, the aircraft has also undergone a nose-to-tail acoustic treatment, taking the already quiet cabin to another level for both passengers and pilots. Additionally, the new swivel suite will provide our customers more accessibility and flexibility in comfort. So moving to the exterior of the Elite 2, we are introducing a bold new black edition paint scheme that further differentiates the ramp appeal of the aircraft. Honda Jet has a legacy of bringing to market new technologies that automate, augment, and reduce pilots' workload. Today, we have another exciting plan to share. Uh, we will be taking our aircraft forward on the journey of automation next year by bringing key new technologies to the market. Specifically, by the end of the 2023, we will launch a new suite of advanced avionics technology, including autothrottle and emergency autoland. 
This will enable Honda Jet to enhance operational safety and reduce pilot workload through automation, augmentation, and situational awareness technologies. The new Avionox suite will be introduced as part of the Elite 2 with the auto throttle available in the first half of 2023 and emergency auto land in the second half of 2023. After these messages, Ampere and Tamarack team up on Eco Caravan. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Exciting pairing, Ampere and Tamarack team up on Eco Caravan. A unique teaming has brought Ampere and Tamarack Aerospace Group together with an MOU to develop further aerodynamic upgrades for Ampere's family of hybrid electric aircraft. This includes exclusive access to Tamarack's performance smart wing winglets on all alternative energy variants of the 208 Caravan, Twin Otter, and King Air aircraft. Tell us what Ampere hopes to do with this particular partnership. Uh, so with this partnership, we're hoping to focus on the Eco Caravan, uh, our first launch product, uh, increase the performance uh, that we're seeing uh, already uh, with the smart wing technology, uh, and then also looking at other aircraft in our commercial roadmap, including the Eco Otter and the Eco King Air, uh, the King Air being a platform that Tamarack is uh, really expert on and has already demonstrated significant uh, efficiency benefits. Uh, so again, pairing our hybrid propulsion systems together uh, with their aerodynamic efficiency gains with the smart wing technology really is a match that's going to uh, provide a ton of value for operators. For our folks out in the cheap seats, briefly, what is an Eco Caravan? Uh, an Eco Caravan is a hybrid electric version of the venerable, high utilitarian uh, Cessna uh, Caravan. And so what we're doing is we are removing the combustion system and putting in our own hybrid power plant that's a combustion system augmented with an electric propulsion system powered by a battery pack that will be integrated into the cargo pod. We make no changes to the cabin and some slight changes to the cockpit to relay information such as battery state of charge uh, and other uh, systems. It's an exciting idea. What does Tamarack bring to this? So we're looking at aerodynamic improvements to that airframe, extending the wing like we normally do and adding potentially a winglet to that airplane as well with our patented load alleviation system. And so we're providing climb performance, takeoff a high hot performance to that airplane in addition to fuel savings which is sort of a one-two punch with the fuel savings from the power plant and then the fuel savings from the aerodynamic improvements. The Eco Caravan has 50 to 70 percent reduction in fuel consumption and overall direct operating cost reduction of about 25 percent, uh, scaling even up to 40 percent on some of the shortest routes. So where we'll first see this is in FAA jurisdictions uh, as we're targeting FAA certification in 2024, and we'll see it everywhere. Uh, the Eco Caravan doesn't require infrastructure, so we don't need to be tied to a charger to enable uh, the operator to save uh, fuel. Uh, and so we really think this is a one-to-one -one replacement on virtually any route that a caravan flies today. We've already started our ground tests on our first prototype uh, Eco Caravan, uh, and that aircraft is slated to flight test before the end of the year. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.